What's going on YouTube? Welcome in to another beautiful build for you. Today we're building the 3500X. Honestly, it's one of the best cases you can build right now for the price. But it's got a lot of really good things about it. A, price. We're talking about a $100 case that has three ARGB fans coming in from Corsair. And it's got that dual chamber look and you can build a lot of big things in it. Like today, we have a 7800X 3D build with a 5070 Ti overclocking edition coming from MSI. That right there is one of the best bang for buck budgets you can build with right now. We're talking about a $2,500 system that has the 700 X3D rich best bang for buck CPUs. Putting on the beautiful B650 Tomahawk Wi-Fi board, which is our favorite entry level board here at Stinsville. We have 64 gigs of Kingston RGB Fury RAM coming in with 6,000 CL30 timings, which is a sweet spot for the 700 X3D and the 900 X3D still. We've got a two terabyte Kingston KC3000 drive, which is the best entry level drive you can buy right now. Price to performance with a good customer service quality that we like here at Stinsville. We've got the 5070 Ti OC Ventus 3 fan going in as well from MSI for the graphics card today. We're cooling it with the Hyperflow 360. Again, we're putting all in that 3500X ARGB case from Corsair as well. And then we're powering it with the MSI 1000 watt GL, which is a phenomenal 3.1 power supply, ATX uh, Rome power supply coming from MSI as well. Those you think, think, think down below in the comments, make sure that the like button helps with the algorithm. Make sure that subscribe button as well if you want to see more beautiful pieces like this running over on your YouTube feed. You can join us any Monday, Wednesday, or Friday over at our Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash stints. We stream around at 11 a.m. Eastern. We hope to see you soon. Getting off the top here. Let's get started, chat. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good top down right away. Get started on today's build. All right. Let's pop the, uh, pop the top and take the socket really quick. No bent pins. Get that 700 X3D down and in. And we get tray CPUs since we're partnered with AMD, so we don't have any retail pack to open it up. It's a big old tray of CPUs is what we do. So then down and in. Next will be our NVMe drive. Our two terabyte casing, KC3000 down and in. King. I played a little bit of PUBG on, on Saturday night with Mr. Travis Dees. That was an extent of my gaming. About two hours of PUBG. Puppers was not letting me get much time away. So woke up, was wide awake, and I was like, all right. That was my gaming time. <laughs> Two terabyte KC3000 down and in. Let's get our cover back on for our drive. There's our beast RAM. It's going to be the same exact RAM you see here, but it's going to be 64 gigs of 6,000 60, C32. We have just a shop kit of 6,000 C30 right now we're putting in. Of 32 gigs. But it's going to give you an idea exactly how this build's going to be. We're waiting for that RAM to come in tomorrow. But that being said, that's how it will look. Great little setup here. Like... Again, I said it in the intro for today's build. B650, 700X3D, 2 terabyte drive, 64 gigs of RAM. I mean, you're setting yourself up for longevity. I believe it's coming off a 3700X build, right, Odin? 5600X, 5600, 3070. It's going to a 700X3D and a 5070Ti. That's a massive upgrade. That's a massive upgrade in gaming performance. I'm, I'm pumped for him. You can see that is all screwed, a little tight in there. That's a massive... I, dude, I, you're going to love Tarkov. <laughs> you're going to like playing Tarkov now. You're gonna like playing Tarkov. It's gonna be enjoyable. You can actually do your quest on streets and shoreline and woods expansions and all that. Yeah. And he's working. Yeah. So he's you go over a 3070, which is a great card. Don't get me wrong. But this is a massive upgrade. So we got everything on the board again. We go top down one more time. 700 X3D, two terabyte Kingston, Kingston K3 3000, 6000 CL30, 64 gigs of Kingston Fury on the beautiful B650 Tomahawk board. Honestly, phenomenal setup right here in terms of reliability, longevity. Performance. I mean, you got a good board. The P650 Tomahawk. It's got all the USB you need. Wi-Fi 6E. I mean, it's. I mean, you got everything. You got everything on that board too. I/O wise, reliability, stability. That Tomahawk is a phenomenal board. It's literally one of the best boards you can buy right now for the price. Phenomenal case. Like this case right here that Odin picked out. He's like, I really want this case. I was talking to him about his build. He's like, I really want the 3500X. He liked the design. He likes the aesthetic. That good cooling. I mean, this is a premium case you're getting for the cost of a standard mid-tower. I mean, you, you can't really beat it, honestly. This case is really hard to beat for its price. That's why you probably see a lot of them here on, on our YouTube channel, on the Twitch. It's a very hard case to beat. It's just so darn good for the price. We're gonna need our motherboard screws. Our connections will go in here. All right, I got the case all opened up. We'll put all the other screws and motherboard accessories back in the box. We'll work on, uh, Let's get our, our wires kind of dialed in really quick. So the way they put, they run the factory wires here for like their, uh, their, their cables, we're just gonna change them out really quick. Uh, tuck them away. I don't like how they put them, so we're gonna tuck them away. We're gonna clean them up a little bit. 
the first thing we do on these builds is tuck these wires away. Nobody wants to see that, you know? Showing out over here. There we go. Once it's over here, it's much cleaner. Now we'll get the motherboard in. Uh, we'll, we'll tuck them in after. So let's go top down, get this motherboard in. That way you can see all those wires that we're hiding right now. Because right now you'll just see the BTF compatibility of the motherboard. And you're like, oh, you need to hide the wires. But indeed we are. Indeed we are. There we go. All right. Get these screws in. Motherboard's now in. All right. There it is. Now we start working on these cables back here is what we're talking about. And now those cables are hidden. So before these like these little uh, like daisy chain cables hang out right in here and it looks ugly. So you move them around and put them over here, hide them away so you don't see them because nobody wants to see that nonsense. Those are all set. Now let's get some of their front panel connections in. We have our type C and our USB 3.0s to run in. Pop in our USB 3.0 header. There we go, all in there. Start hiding some of these lines back here. I need to get my light back here. It's a little dark, all these bright lights in the studio on me. A little more light back here. The only thing is the, the big thing about the uh, 9800X video over like a B-series board is some of the BIOS, but they did now enable a lot of the features that you want on a B650 board to be able to run X3D mode. Before you couldn't really run X3D mode extremely well. Now you can. So it is, yes, it is a, it is a good board for 9800X3D. 700X3D, 9800X3D, they run really well. They run even better now. They were running better on other boards. Like I said, they'd be like X870 boards, but now they're they're running rock solid on these. We got our RGB and our and our um, our fan headers plugged in. They're gonna move on to the rear fan and the power supply. There's our RGB. We're right here to the board. There we go. As long as as well as our system fan header. We run these three fans. All ties in right here. Here yeah, Ryan's doing his build. Cam today. Oh, dude, it's like it's like dated. There. Oh, dude, you're just morphing. You literally look like. Holy crap, that was crazy. You just sh showed up on camera. I wish I could make that happen all the time. I wish I could make that happen all the time. You just like, you just dissolved into, this, into the screen. You look like uh, the liquid surfer, like whatever it is, like the silver surfer. You just like literally just appeared. Ryan is working on a 14600K build today. The 4060 Ti. All right. Our cable management so far looking good. Look at the power supply and the rear fan in. There we go. All right, get those rear, rear, this rear, rear fan screwed in. Fan screws. There you go. Fan was being difficult at first, but we're in. There we go. There's that. All we have left. So I was just doing cable management on the back. You see, pretty clean. Get the power supply out next. All right. 24 pin main, EPS1, EPS2, 12 volt high power. That's all we need today. All these other cables and the power cable in the bag. We don't need a SATA today. So we're on a Montec cooler. No need when you're on Montec. Love that. All that SATA nonsense. I will say also the new uh, Corsair, you don't need them. I love, I love when AIOs don't require SATA to power it. Let's get our power supply connected, all the cables we need. Where should be our EPS up top here. One, two EPS, 12 volt high power. See, the L's disappear. That means you got the firm connection you need. Next will be our 24 pin main motherboard. Yeah, and he's got all the juice. Longevity wise, this is a plenty of power. But there it is, here's our MSI, 1000 watt GL. Let's slide this bad boy in. Now the PSU basements, HD audio, or front panel audio. There we go. EPS, EPS up and in. A second. There we go. Drop the 24 pin main. There it is, all in. Tuck that in. Generate a 12 volt high power cable up and through for later. There it is. Cable's managed there. Looking good on the back. Let's get the cooler in, chat. There you go. The cable management. Straightforward, clean. Put this cooler on. Quickly tighten this down, then, then tighten the rest of it. I want to have it right and secure where I want it. Nice and secure, good to go. All right, let's ready to put the mount the pump, chat. We got the pump mounted, we're able to put the rad in. We'll get a couple screws in here. I'll turn around so you guys can see it. All right, I need to get the rad in. There it is. We'll open it over really quick with a CPU wire. The CPU fan header, it's in. We'll pump an RGB right at the top. Pump connection in next. The pump header in. There we go. This part is nice and taunt. There we go. Perfect. All right, there we go. RGB is all set up. Let's throw the rest of these rad screws in. Or the GPU out, chat. All done, cable management, other than getting the GPU in. You see it there? 
All right, before I put this in, let me show you the card. 5070 Ti today, overclocked MSI version. 5070 Ti overclocked MSI. It's bad boy lined right up. There it is. In we go with the thunk. There it is. I mean, this is like not gonna move. This is fantastic. Look at this. One screw. And not a super, super heavy card, which is great for like, oh, do you have to worry about any kind of like stress on this PCI slot or the, or the, uh, the PCB of the card itself. The heat sink's not massive. So, I mean, that, you don't, you don't really need much of a uh, GP support bracket. Here we go. 16 pin, 12 volt high power cable. She's all done. Boom. Light up this bad boy. Let's get this PC lit up. Let's get it uh, all installed with software. I'm not gonna do it live on stream, but we're gonna get it all installed. But she is done. There it is, chat. Guys, thanks for coming in and liking another video here on YouTube. Make sure to hit that like button to help us with the algorithm. Make sure people find us and see all the beautiful PCs we build. If you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button as well. Remember, we build these systems live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday over on our Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash stints. Come on over, hang out, chat it up with us, watch us build beautiful PCs for everybody in the community. And remember, let's go.